to join me? <laughs> Let's the blue. The brain dead pothead is a stereotype we all know and love. So, how real is that trope exactly, according to science? Weed's ability to change the way we feel and perceive is, after all, a huge part of the appeal. But are its effects short term? Or does consuming cannabis permanently impact or kill brain cells? This week on Weedwise, we talked to Dr. Mooney, director of the UCLA Addiction Medicine Clinic, to see if there's any truth behind the classic myth that asks, does cannabis kill brain cells? I don't think the message to the public should be a dramatic one of cannabis killing brain cells. But I do think it's important for the public to be aware of a balanced understanding of potential risks of cannabis use. We do know that cannabis use is associated with problems with memory, learning and attention, at least in the short term. But the real question is whether these effects have a lasting impact. There's some suggestion from research that earlier onset of cannabis use in early adolescence, also long-term use or heavier or more regular use may be associated with more severe cognitive consequences. We need a lot more research and, and research that follows youth over time and really tracks the biological environmental factors that may intersect with cannabis use to determine more conclusively effects on the developing brain. The National Institute of Health, or NIH, is the major governmental source of funding for this research. The Adolescent Brain Cognitive Development Study, which will be tracking at least 10,000 youth starting at age 9 or 10 over time, and collecting information on biological factors, environmental factors that shape all sorts of functional outcomes, including substance use. UCLA will be one of the sites for this study. So, to recap, we don't really have all the information needed to determine whether consuming cannabis results in long-term effects on the brain, which is a great reminder that science is an ongoing process and in the case of cannabis, there's a lot more to be discovered before we can understand the full picture. Thanks again for watching and let us know which cannabis questions you'd like us to explore in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe for more episodes of Weedwise.